the Co Cup's the only freeride world qualifier in Scotland, so it's probably the highest profile ski event that we have going in Scotland at the moment. Uh, and it brings some of the best in the UK and even in Europe people to come and compete in an event that's exciting, great to watch, and uh, as you'll see tomorrow, there's some, some great action. Established in 1956, Glencoe is Scotland's oldest skiing centre and has a reputation for being one of the best venues for the most experienced skiers. The resort is currently home to Scotland's longest and steepest skiing slopes, including the famous flypaper. This is used for the Coe Cup. The Coe Cup is a freeride world tour qualifying event and is seen as the UK's biggest and best freeriding competition. Um, well, I think the series started was about Two years ago the series started and then last year I did it and uh, managed to get first um, and then this year so far we've had um, competition at Glenshee and one at Ben Lawyers a couple of weeks ago. After a day of constant wind and rain we were uncertain on whether or not the competition was going to go ahead even though we were assured by the judges that the weather was going to be absolutely fine there was still doubt in all of our minds. Later on in the evening, the judges made it clear what they wanted from the competitors. For me, what's important is that they have fun and they show what they can do and they play with the mountain and what the mountain offers them. That's really like the playful the creativity and um, that's really important. We judge for different criteria then and we, for us, important it's just the overall impression what the run is, but we have subcategories like um, how difficult is the line, how original or creative is the line, or is it what I call a line, a sheep line, that means the lead sheep goes and 40 other sheep uh, follow, which is not interesting. Um, how the technique is, uh, how they control, so do they control their skis or do the skis control them? Um, fluidity, is the run, is uh, the rider always stopping and hesitating, or does he go through in a in a flow, in one flow without hesitating, always knowing where he is and where he has to go the next. And last but not least, it's air and style. That means all jumps and landings and uh, crashes. The kind of key things we're looking for is, you know, fluid runs. So you want to see skiers and snowboarders that are very confident. You know, the, the train can be quite challenging um, and they'll make it look easy. So there's lots of features out there, so it's good to see people using them. Uh, it'd be nice to see people using them in uh, creative manners, ways we've maybe not seen before. Um, but certainly seeing three or four good combinations uh, over rocks with grabs or any kind of style done very fast and very fluid is kind of the gold standard. That's, that's what we kind of ideally want to see. Cool. It's the morning of the competition and even though we're absolutely shattered, there was an all-round feeling of relief. The sun was shining and the competition was going to go ahead. No one gets hurt. Thankfully, no one was actually injured, but now it's time for the competition. Here we go.
transition over and there was some fantastic action. I really don't know how the judges are going to pick a winner. Uh, well, I think the competition was good. Uh, uh, the conditions have been good, had a good atmosphere, lots of features this year. Probably, I've done it the last three years, I'd say this year's probably the best so far. And why do you think that is? Um, I think the, uh, there's more features t uh, this year on the slope, so lots of people did lots of varied lines. Um, I think in last year there was lots of big features, but um, you could only kind of like do one of them on your run. So this year there's lots of variety, everyone ski different lines, and it's more fun when everyone's skiing different stuff and have their own interpretation of that. I'm just going to get the name on it for the third time, Dave Biggin. Yeah. So there's four, four events, yep. um, one at Coe, one at Nevis Range, one at Glen Shee and one at Ben Lors. Right. And um, so far this season we've done the one at uh, Ben Lors, Glen Shee and here. Yep. And, um, How did you go on in them? I won them. <laughs> Luck luckily. <laughs> well, luckily. So what's the chances of a win at Nevis Range next week? Oh, I, do oh, I don't know. I think I've had my run of luck for this year. So <laughs> You start to put pressure on yourself. To, to perform better on that one slope whereas if you go and ski something that you've never skied before then you know there's less pressure uh, on yourself to you know you, you don't expect to ski it in a particular way and uh, and also you you don't mind so much if the conditions aren't great because it's new and it just feels uh, feels feels nice anyway at Glencoe it's not all about the skiing plenty of punters enjoy a friendly and warm atmosphere that is included in the overall package, making everyone's experience a special one. I only came to Glencoe in 2014 and I, I met him. <laughs> met us, there was a bigger, bigger picture. Yeah, it's no, not just us, me. us. All of us. I met the Glencoe Pirates and they took me under everyone's their wing. Everyone's a pirate so here. what do you think here has that other places don't? Why do you like this place the most? Madness. <laughs> this mountain has Madness! <laughs> I, we've no, the, mo as a, the mountain's absolutely brilliant. It's got great features, unlike some other mountains, Aye. which are less featureless. Aye. And also, the cafe's open till eight, half eight at night, so you can have a bit of crack at night. People turn around to me sometimes and they say, Where's the park? And I'm like, Whole mountains are park here. Yeah. Bob bag, beat bag. One day it's like a, it's like a family business kind of. It's friendly. It's personal. It's something else than being in a corporate resort. What an unbelievable weekend! Crammed full of action and phenomenal people. Glencoe really is a mesmerising place to showcase the talent of skiers from around the globe. Papa Scott reporting from Glencoe. <laughs> Roger. Overnight.